Lord Megatron 27 doing a 2007 movie cliff jumper review. Alright, the first thing you're gonna notice about this guy is he is hard as shit to transform, okay? Um, <laughs> honestly, he's the same old as the 2007 Bumblebee. Um, but he, I don't know, sometimes when you do a transform him, he gets really, really stiff. Um, actually, the first time we transformed him, he was stuck uh, in between robot mode and car mode for six months. He froze up and we couldn't get him back into car mode or into robot mode, no matter what we did. So we set him aside until we finally um, got him back into car mode, which is where he stayed until today. Um, he does have weapons. I'm not exactly sure where they're at. They're downstairs somewhere, put away. But he does come with the same weapons that Bone Bee comes with. Only um, his missile is uh, like a clear blue looking color. Whatever. Um, there are a few quality flaws on him as far as paint goes. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in there, but his doors do not match his quarter panel or his fender, as does his roof match the rest of the vehicle, and this little part right here does not match. It's a tad bit off. Um, also, underneath the mirror, I doubt you'll be able to see it, but there is like a touch-up spot on there where it looks like in the factory they touched him up, which I don't know if that will ever... Uh, make him worth anything, but he does have a touch-up spot from the factory where it looks like they took a brush and brushed underneath him. Whatever. Um, anyway, we'll go into his transformation mode, because what I want to try to do, if I can do it, if he doesn't get stuck, is to go from ro or car to robot, robot to car. Um, but, it, like I said, last time I transformed this guy, he sat in between robot and car mode for six months. So, <laughs> We'll see what happens. Um, same transformation as Bumblebee. The only difference is they put a tab here to hold the front part of his quarter panel to the rear part of his corner panel better, um, which on the Bumblebee does not have that, and that does tend to uh, not lock into place too well. But anyway, so what we'll do is you're gonna open his doors, okay? You're gonna separate them just like you did Bumblebee you're gonna fold these little mirror, these little window pieces down and you're gonna lift up that you're gonna lift up the front of the quarters then you're gonna stretch his legs out all right if you did not do the window thing you cannot stretch his quarter you can't stretch his legs out it won't let you um, just kind of twist it back around to the front, whichever, wherever you want to put them. I usually come up here, work them as a thigh. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to pull his arms out, which is part of his roof. Flip his doors the opposite way. All right, and do the same on both sides. Um, just flip them out like that. That way you can maneuver this part out. What you do is you wiggle it. You wiggle it just a little bit, alright? That way when you go to... Oh, he does have a tendency of splitting in half. He does have that damn flaw as all the movie cars have. Um, just twist all this around because what you're going to want to do is just Hope that his arm doesn't fall off like that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He is a very, very difficult transformer. Um, sometimes he transforms very well, and other times he does not. Um, this is probably the best I've ever, ever had him be able to transform, but he does like to split in half. Um, can do that with him and separate just like that. And he has very movie accurate bumblebee like features. No different head sculpt on, which I'm very disappointed about. I wish they would have made him a different head sculpt. 
but they didn't. But he is a good looking Transformer nonetheless in red. Um, I mean, if you've seen Bumblebee, you've seen him, basically. And uh, so I'm going to go from this back to car mode. Alright, now car mode is transformed exactly the same. Hold his legs down. Stick them back together. This is where I had the difficulty for six months, and that was getting him back into car mode. Basically, I got him to this point, and he totally froze up, and he was unable to transform back. And let me tell you, he was a fucking nightmare. If there ever was a nightmare in Transformers, <laughs> this guy took the freaking cake. And you know what? I think he just did it again. See, what's happening is, this back piece gets stuck. Right? And it doesn't happen on the bowl. Either. It happens on him, for whatever reason. Um, and it's hard as shit to get him back. I don't know what Hasbro, I don't know what Hasbro did differently on him, but whatever they did didn't work. I almost had to do him like this, because this is how I got him last time. Yeah, see, he's not gonna... He, he did it again. I can't believe it. He did it again, guys. He totally froze. Unbelievable. Yeah, he did it again to me. One of the most difficult Transformers I've ever had to transform. Um, I don't understand why. I don't see what the problem is. Why he just can't go back to where he was. So I tilted it forward, try to maneuver that down, but it just doesn't, oh, wait a minute, oh, there we go, there we go, hot damn, his head fell off, but it's okay, I think we got it, I think, uh, I'm think i going to do them half, like half, because it's so damn difficult, um, yeah, he's trying to transform, but this is the problem I had with him, last time and it was just there we go I don't care if I had to do him halfway at least I'm getting him back into his regular car mode which he'll probably stay like that for the rest of his life <laughs> I'll be honest with you I'm not gonna lie to you Lord Megatron won't lie to you about stuff like that because Lord Megatron doesn't like to have robots stuck halfway in robot mode and car mode or vice versa you know I, I do like this guy I, mean, I think he has awesome colors awesome paint schemes um, I like him better than Bumblebee which um, you know sometimes it's hard to say because Bumblebee is really nice is really nice in himself um, you know one thing I, I never liked about Bumblebee is I like do not like in him are his arm pieces sometimes do not always fold the best back up into here they always like to pop off like I'm having trouble with them right now popping off and I don't know he's uh, there's just something about this guy that he just doesn't like to either a be in his car mode or b be in his robot mode but when he's in either one, he's a beautiful bot, and he's a beautiful car. Um, other than uh, the flawed paint. Anyway, so we did it. We did it, guys. He may not be all the way purdy right now, but at least he's back in the car. <laughs> there he is. Back into Camaro mode. Minus that little piece of those ones. Right. But he has great color. I do like this. I'm going to customize him. And I'm going to... Because I, I work at a body shop, alright? So this is what I do. Alright, I work on paint. I'm going to mask all this off. And I'm going to have these silver and black stripes go on the complete... All the way down to the hood of the roof. And the rear bumper and the... I'm, may do some custom work up here in the front 